Hey YouTubers, um, this is Makeup for Everyone 10, and this is my very first video on YouTube. Um, so I hope it goes okay. I hope you guys like it. So this is gonna be my April favorites. Um, let's we'll start off with hair care. The very first thing. <clears throat> sorry, my voice. Some, I'm coming out with something, and it really doesn't sound as attractive. Um, the first thing. And the only thing that I really enjoyed the month of April was the one and only um, Aragon Oil or Argon Oil um, Restorative Mask. I got this from Sally's. It was $9.49. And this mask is awesome. Um, I have very curly hair. And with curly hair, it tends to get drier because the hair, the oils can go down the hair shaft because of the curls. Um, so you have a, it, it's very fragile, so you have to take really good care of it, which I didn't always know that, so I didn't know I take very good care of my hair. Um, I bought this mask, and basically, um, I washed my hair in the shower, shampooed it, you know, and you're supposed to get out and, like, towel dry and put this on and let this sit in your hair, but that wasn't, didn't really seem feasible for me, so basically, I just, um, wash my hair, squeeze it out really good, and put this on my hair, um, you know, pretty gener generously. Let it sit there for about 7 to 10 minutes. So, by the time I took care of everything else, all the other essentials, and I rinsed, rinsed it out, and um, then I put the Moroccan, which I should have brought that up here, put the Moroccan oil in, and um, blow dried it and flat ironed it, and it was so incredibly soft it was unbelievable like I felt like I had just gotten my hair done at a salon it was so awesome and soft and so I definitely recommend this and this is definitely one of my April favorites I'm going to go to body care smelly good stuff um, a new scent came out last month from Bath and Body Works it's um Signature Vanilla's Apricot. And this is to die for. I have the lotion, the um, ah, body wash, and the body splash. And I love this smell. I had tried another set. I think it was the Berry Vanilla. I didn't really like that one very much. So I was kind of hesitant um, to try this. But it smells so good. It says it's a mixture of apricot and cool vanilla. Um, but literally, it, I guess it does smell like what they say it smells like. But it's so good. And it lasts so long. I, I absolutely die when I was, I like literally want to eat this. And it seems like more and more often I go to Bath and Body Works, I find something new that I want to eat. So I don't know if something's wrong with me or is it just that it's that good. I don't know. Um, but this is a definite must-have for me for the month of April. And probably will continue through the month of May. Um, hold on. Back. Sorry, one of my favorite lip glosses um, had dropped on me. I guess we'll do lip gloss now. Um, also from Bath & Body Works is the um, Liplicious Lip Color in Vanilla Sorbet. I mean, watermelon sorbet. Um, this, this is what I'm wearing on my lips right now. I don't know if you can see it. It has like a nice little light pink hue. Perfect for if like, um, some, if you're not really wanting like too much of a gloss on your lips or something. Um, so yeah, it's just a nice bit of color. Just a nice pink hue. Nothing too big and bold. The only downside is I don't like the smell of it. I don't like all the smells that I get from the um, their lip glosses there. Um, not really feeling the smell of this whatsoever. Oh, oh this is seven dollars by the way. And then the, um, the apricot stuff. I got it in the buy three get three free they were having. Um, but the wash and the lotion are ten fifty, and the buy splash is twelve fifty. But everybody knows how much of how much things cost at Bath and Body Works, so yeah. Um, <clears throat> the next thing I got was this um, 
lip gloss from Sephora. This is Pin Up Pink. And um, I love this color because I always try to find a really good pink um, lip gloss and this is like perfect. That it's it fits my skin tone um, but it's also like super pigmented and I love it. Let me give you a, a swatch. I don't know if my camera's doing justice to this color, but it is absolutely to die for. I mean, because it is a brighter pink. I mean, pretty close to a hot pink, but not like overboard daring hot pink if you're not ready to go that step. I wanted a pink that I was able to actually see, and um, others could see it too, basically. Um, next is another... Um, Lip gloss from Bath and Body Works with the CEO Bigelow's um, lip gloss and Spearmint Mentha. I love these. I have like a trillion of these, and I have them everywhere, all over my house, in my purse, in the car, like everywhere. My, I find that my kids end up playing with it. Um, these are just perfect to just have wherever. They smell really good. They supposedly help your breath if your breath is really bad um, because of, because of the mint in there or whatever. Um, supposed to make your teeth look whiter or something. I don't really know how it all works, but um, but that's a nice little gloss to it. And also gives a topper gloss if you're wearing like a matte lipstick where you just want to bring some oomph to a regular lipstick. And that's perfect. Um, next, I'm going to go with mascara. And the one I've been using the most is from Rimmel London. It's the Max Volume Flash Waterproof Mascara. Doot, doot, doot. I love this mascara. I'm wearing it right now. Um, and one of the fact of it is that it is waterproof, but it's really good waterproof. It does come off with like my makeup wipes um, really well. It's not, and it's not like a bunch of smearing when I take it off. Or even, I don't know if sometimes you guys get this, but like if I'm washing my face with my makeup on, if I don't like do like a wipe off first and wash, I just wash it with makeup on. I always feel like... Um, some mascaras and stuff like that get in your eyes just to burn doesn't feel so hot this I did not burn me so this makes me really really happy I know I've also this is actually this is in black should have mentioned that here is the wand I like the wand on it it's um nice big round one kind of spherical but has like but not completely sphere but I like has like out juting edges I don't know the best way to say that, but that's how it's going to work. Um, I can't remember how much, this, how much this is. I think seven, eight dollars. Um, but I really, 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 really love this. Um, let's go to eye primers. I'm not wearing any shower right now. I'm just doing just a liquid liner and mascara on my eyes. Um, but generally I use um, Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I love this. This is definitely an April fave. This is a March fave, February, January, May. Um, this is definitely a fave. Um, and you get so much product, and I have the big size, and you get so much product in this. I've had this since January, and I feel like the tube is barely gone. It's still so much in here. Um, so I really like this. I don't remember how much it is. I think. I'm going to go on limits like seventeen or eighteen dollars. That's the go out on the limb spiel. Um, next, we're going to go to um, face makeup, and it's going to be the Steel Issue Color Tinted Moisturizer Hydrating Oil for SPF twenty in tan. Tan. I like this very much. Um, Long story short, I had actually went to Sephora, Sephora and I had gotten um, a sample of a foundation and took it home. I wanted to try it out. It took me a little while to get to try it out because I wasn't, I was really busy. I tried it out. I liked it. It blended. It worked perfectly. I'm like sold. Let's go get it. I went to go get it. They no longer had continued that line. So I was like, okay, what am I supposed to get now? So, um, the lady at Sephora helped me find something that, because I didn't really want anything oil, oily, um, and I don't want, 
I don't always want a full coverage. I want something light that feels really light on my face and I don't want something that's gonna just feel like really cakey. I can't handle that. So she gave me this and I swatched it on and it worked out really well for me. Um, another thing, BTW. I have the hardest time trying to find um, powders or foundations um, because I have like uneven skin tone some parts are darker than others and I can't really match either one just one darker or lighter section because it looks weird if I try to, I've tried mixing them it doesn't always work somehow this formula really works really well and my last um, April favorite is the Sephora sculpting disc oh by the way the um, Stila was $34 this is the Sephora sculpting disc you get your bronzer, your powder, and your highlight. I don't use the powder because it's not my color. I just wish they only had just a bronzer highlight too. But I like, I like that you get this big case. You get this really big mirror. Hello, hello. Um, I really like this because I am. I only use just like I said. I only use the bronzer and the sculptor, and the bronzer is a really pretty color. Can you see that? So swatching for you. Um, and it really, it's not, it's not shimmer, it has a little bit of shimmer to it, but it's, it's not like overly done, which I really like. Um, and that was $24. Um, so that's my April favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I really hope you guys check out my channel. Um, I'm very excited to start this channel. Um. I've been wanting to do this for a while now, and now that I'm getting into it, I'm really excited for it. Um, I'm working on it feverishly, trying to make sure you know I get to the point where I, it looks the way that I want it to look. Um, and I do have a Facebook and a Twitter. I will link those down below in the down bar. And um, I know it's May 14th, and I'm doing April favorites, but it's all good. Um, have a wonderful day. Actually, it's night, because it's night time for me, so I'm going to say have a wonderful night. And i um, talk to you soon. And I'll be uploading more videos. I'm doing, like, video fever right now. So, um, talk to you guys later. Okay, bye-bye.